Students in Hampton have been getting lessons from two fighters throughout the year. Yeah, they see one via Skype from time to time. The other is with them every day. But today was a special day when they were both in the same room. And with a little work to keep second graders engaged, they were able to see one child's eyes light up with the realization that his hero was home. I told my kids that we were going to, you were all coming to interview me for um, breast cancer awareness because I'm a breast cancer survivor of three years. So a room full of second graders sat and listened closely with cameras all around. They wear pink all the time, even the boys, right? Until this moment revealed what was really going on. <laughs> Aiden had a bit of a tough year this year, second grade, emotionally, with dad being away from home. Thanks to technology, they've been able to see each other often. Miss Diana reached out to me and said, hey, we want the kids to see how Afghanistan is. And the class was learning about a new culture via Skype. They gave him about an hour's worth of time on the internet to where he could um, Skype with my students and they, he showed us pictures, he talked about every, the, you know, the schools, what it was like to live over there. But nothing beats this. It's really just knowing your family's okay just to see him and touch him. When he saw his dad, my heart just was overwhelmed. It's hard on these kids when their parents are away and you know, is he know he knew that his dad loved him with all of his heart, but just not having that that um, personal connection. Aiden wasn't much on words to describe his emotions today. His sister helped him out. Surprise <laughs> and happy. I'm really happy. His mom says deployments never get easier, but they are more bearable with a strong support system, including a teacher like Miss Diana, who knows a thing or two about how to fight. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Aiden and his sister said that they're looking forward to spending time with their dad fishing, mm -hmm. but they'll be doing a lot of bonding over packing first. The family is transferring to Fort Hood in Texas this week.